It's day five of the search for Nurla Sharma. Five police detectives are assigned to the case. As many as 20 others in the New West Police Department are trying to find out what happened to the 44-year-old mother of three. Search and rescue teams have been out looking and her family is not giving up hope. Hopefully the next few days that something comes up and we know where she is and she just, she comes home and this just, all of this just stops. But clouding the disappearance are charges that have been laid against Sharma's husband. Rishi Sharma has been charged with one count of uttering threats to cause death or bodily harm against his wife on January 25th. We totally understand um, how it could look. Um, we're not ruling out foul play, but we're not at a place right now in the investigation where it's gone from missing persons to a criminal investigation. No one from the family responded to calls today, but in text messages last night to the CBC, Vanessa Sharma insisted the charges against her father have absolutely nothing to do with their mother's disappearance. She wrote, Look, I'm going to tell you what I've been telling everyone else. We will not be talking about any charges against my dad. It has absolutely nothing to do with my mom's disappearance. Nothing at all. She goes on to say, it's completely separate. My dad loves my mom more than anything in this world, and for him to be put on blast like this isn't okay at all. It's no one's business. The conditions of Sharma's bail originally ordered him to not be within a two-block radius of his immediate family members, to abstain from all alcohol, and to have no contact with his wife or children. But a variation was granted today, allowing him to contact his kids over the phone or social media. Police say there's no indication Nurla Sharma was suffering from depression or had mental health issues. Yeah, all the different variables are factors that we need to consider. You know, what was her background, what is her background, uh, what was her state of mind, and who are all the different people involved in her life. So, again, it's a missing persons investigation. Uh, we're not at a criminal investigation stage, um, but we're definitely looking at the background of everybody. Nurla Sharma was last seen when she went to bed at home in New Westminster's Queensboro neighborhood around 9 p.m. Sunday night. She was reported missing when she didn't show up for work on Monday morning. She's considered to be a high-risk missing person because her disappearance is so out of character. Deborah Goebel, CBC News, New Westminster.